It's your boy DTV is back with y'all another video, man. Hey, listen, all my DTV is crew, all my DTV is crew, all my DTV is people, all my DTV is people who support me, or, or you know what I mean, who on my channel are watching this right now. Like, hit that like button, hit that like button, dog. Because listen, I just did 20 miles, I just did 20 miles, came back. Ain't eat nothing. Ain't drink no water, no nothing. Came straight here on my porch and started making the second video because I had to make it. I had to make it. I I'm, Listen, I had to make it. If you ain't subscribed to the channel yet, if you ain't subscribed to the channel yet, I grind on here. So, look, I grind on here. I done went 20 miles. No water when I got back, no food. So if you ain't subscribed yet, subscribe. Because I grind on here. Cause when this stuff pop in my head, I gotta let it out. Yo, listen. Who will have the better season? Orlando Brown or Villanueva? I'm gonna break it down to you so y'all get comfortable. Hear me out. So, first let me start off with Villanueva had his worst season last season. He dropped from being the seventh ranked uh, right tackle to number 58 out of 65. And he still had a better and he still was eight spots ahead of Orlando Brown. Out of 1,298 snaps, he's only gave up five sacks. And listen, why was last season bad? Because the entire uh, offensive line for the Steelers was bad. You're only as good as your counterparts. You're only as good as your worst player. So all other seasons uh, Villanueva played, he was in the top seven out of 65 tackles in the league. Last year, everybody on that offensive line had a terrible season. And he was still eight spots ahead of Orlando Brown when it comes to pass blocking. Run blocking, he was ranked 18 out of 65 tackles in the league. That's for his entire career, from the good seasons to now, to last year. Last year, he was still ranked 18th. That's above middle of the pack. Willing to waver. So, who do I think will have a better season next uh, this, up, uh, this upcoming season? I think it will be Willing to waver. I'm gonna break down why. Because what do we know about uh, the Baltimore Ravens' um, offense? It makes everything easier. It makes everything easier. It makes pass blocking easier. It makes run blocking easier. Why? Because for one, our uh, offensive scheme allows you to get to your angles quicker. And 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 the, uh, because the defense has to watch and pay attention before they can even react, so we already a step faster. You already a step on your job. The defense cannot pin their ears back and just blitz um, or just you know rush the passer because Lamar Jackson's back there. They have to be on their toes. They have to rush contained. They have to rush under control. So that gives another step to the offensive line. Our life is so much easier in our offense with Lamar Jackson back there. The offensive line life is the life is so much easier. Now, what does Orlando Brown go to? <clears throat> he goes to an offense that has, that's predominantly passing. They pass over 80% of the time. What does the defense know? That um, Patrick Mahomes is going to pass. He's going to hold the ball. He's going to throw deep. So that's an extra second and a half. Orlando Brown got to hold on to his block. That's another step that he loses because um, the defense knows that they're going to pass. So they can pin their ears back and they can take off. They're not worried about Patrick Mahomes running for 50 yards in the touchdown. They'd rather Patrick Mahomes get off his uh, base, take off, and scramble a little bit. They, will, they, they do not want that to happen with Lamar Jackson. So what does that do for Orlando Brown? It makes the job that much harder. Because the defense knows, the defensive end knows that they're passing. He knows they're passing. So it's, it's no game. It's no, oh, they don't know if I'm going to pass or they don't know if I'm going to run. They don't know if my quarterback is going to take off up the middle on a, on an RPO or what. So they can't just take off. With uh, the Chiefs, the defense knows. So Orlando Brown is on call. You know we're going to pass. They know we're going to pass. Stop them. He loses his step because the, offense already, the defense already knows what you're going to do. He loses another step because it's not Lamar Jackson back there. He can't cover up for your discrepancies. He loses another step because the offense that we're in is not going to cover you. The offense that he's in now is not going to cover him up. You're on the island, baby. You're on the island. That's three steps. Villanueva is coming from a quarterback who was a statue. 
meaning that the offense already knew what he was going to do. So it was what well, the defense already knew what he was going to do. So defense had their ears pinned back, and it was taken off. And he still was ranked seven all those years with a statue back there. And then he has Lamar. He's coming to an offense that the defense don't know what you're going to do. So that already gives him another step ahead of the defense. He's, going, he's coming to an a, a offense where they don't know if the quarterback is going to take off or they don't want to really rush the quarterback because they, don't know, they know that he can beat them with his legs. And if he takes off, that's a disaster. So, but in the way, it's coming from an offense where he had to be on point at all times. And he still will rank high. Now he's coming to an office that Lamar Jackson will make up for some of your discrepancies. Lamar Jackson will make the defense not pin their ears back. Lamar Jackson will make the defense second guess. Lamar Jackson will make the defense be a slept store, slower. So Villanueva is coming from an office where it, it doesn't really help him in no way possible. He has to be great. He's now coming to an office where we will help you. Even though now you are great. We're going to help you be even better now because our offense is going to elevate your skill sets because it has no choice to. It's going to make life so much easier for you. So, Villanueva, a proven vet, can play left or right tackle, is coming to an offense to only complement his game 10 times fold. Orlando Brown is going to an offense who's, hey, you saw what you did over there, but it's a little different over here. You got to be able to really hold up your part. You're going, the, off, we're going to, the defense is going to know that we're passing, and we need you to be able to hold up. You're not going to have those three extra steps on them. The mentally, not knowing what Lamar is going to do. The mentally, not knowing if Lamar is going to take off or not knowing if y'all going to do RPO or run or not. The, be, the, the best rushing game in the history of the NFL. You don't have that on your side. So... We got to see what you're going to be able to do as a real left tackle now. So, without that being said, I feel that Orlando Brent, well, um, Villanueva is going to have the best season out of those two. And you have Steeler fans saying that, and you also have Steeler fans saying, oh, Villanueva, he sucks. He is. Of course they're going to say that. Of course they're going to say that because he's not a Steeler no more, and he's a Baltimore Raven. But if you look at the stats, he only gave up five sacks out of 1,289 snaps. He was ranked seventh. Out of 65 tackles in the NFL until last season when their entire O line was trash. Their entire O line was trash. We just got a 6'9, 360 pound mammoth to go with our 6'6 six, six across the board O line, 330, 355, 370 pound O lineman. The smallest one is our right, is our left tackle in Stanley at 315. You could put him beside um, the Cleveland if you want to at 360 pounds, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 animal. Or you could put him beside, you know, Bozeman or those guys. We lit. Our offensive line just got that much better. Hey, if you ain't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, man, because I'm grinding. And I told you, I ain't even had no water yet. And I just went out there and did 20 miles, you did. So you know I'm grinding. If you ain't like to subscribe to my channel yet, do that now. Because I'm, I'm out here grinding. Who else you know going to be out here 90 degree weather? And then come straight back to the crib. News drop. After 20 miles, don't drink no water, don't eat no food, and sit it and give y'all a video. The only thing I did was sit down. Let y'all a video. If you ain't like to my channel, if you ain't subscribed to my channel yet, you got to subscribe to the channel after that, man. Come on, man. If you're a Ravens fan or not, because your boy out here grinding. And if you want me to drop a video, leave it in the comment section or, you know what I mean, hit me up on um on Twitter. My, my Twitter name is Walking and Tweeting. Or, you know what I mean, hit me up. I'll put my stuff below. You can hit me up. You want me to drop a video, let me know. It's your boy DTV. Like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.